Hello, my name is Rick Burton. I'm uh, with Hyperstring.net. With me today is Paul Beck. He's the uh, Central Technology Officer of Hyperstring.net. And Paul is going to show us an exciting new uh, product for businesses. And uh, it's called Virtual Conferencing. And Paul, why don't you give us a tour of the conference center and tell us all about virtual conferencing and how it can save businesses time and money. Yep, I can do that. Um, this this virtual conference center is actually in a, uh, in a in an environment called Second Life, which is a very quite a famous now and a huge um, virtual world. And we are um, we we basically run conferencing for a number of organisations, and it saves them quite a lot of money in terms of travel because you can run everything from your computer. Um, this conference center was actually had a conference yesterday, and um, it was very successful. So let's uh, let's go ahead on into the uh, the main foyer part of the conference center. This is manned during conferences, um, and we automatically can log who actually visits this the conference center. Um, if we move around to the main Queen Elizabeth II hall, this is the big hall in the conference center. It takes about 50, 60 people at once. We can do larger conferences, of course, um, by prior arrangement. In this hall, we've got uh, PowerPoint. On the left-hand side, we can put PowerPoint presentations. On the right-hand side, we have a video screen where you can uh, we can stream audio and video into the building. Um, and this this just allows us to offer a complete uh, conferencing solution. And your avatars and uh, which are the the representations of the people actually at the conference sit at these chairs and can uh, kind of watch the watch the conference and join in the discussion if they wish to. So, Paul, basically what you have here are all the features of a video conference, only uh, with the added flexibility of the, of the uh, interaction and the ability to transfer electronic data, electronic files, uh, instantly, and uh, without the expense of uh, the video equipment or setting up a, uh, a, a studio for video conferencing. Absolutely right. Um, the... the, the um we can actually put files onto a web server and have them with links in here. So you can be in here and you can click on something and it will give you the file from a, from a server. Um, the other thing we can, the, the other cost that we save is the fact that uh, you don't have to have special units or special software or anything for this. You just have to have the free Second Life client and an avatar. Yep, and uh, basically the only equipment you need is the computer you're viewing this video on and, uh, and a headset. That's right, yep, absolutely. And if you're coming to a conference where you're not actually going to be joining in, you don't even need the headset. Yeah, that's correct. So it's not only good for conferencing, it's actually uh, quite good for uh, training over uh, distances. Sure, sure. Absolutely. This is the cool thing about this, is you can use it for training, conferencing, or any sort of thing where you need a gathering. Um, you need to gather a few people together to talk about something. It's not a problem. And this isn't the only room we've got in the building, Rick. Um, would you like to come and see some smaller rooms? Sure. We can customize any part of this building, in fact. And that means that um, if you need something special in one of the rooms, it's not a problem. Let's come into this one. This one's been set up for a video session, um, just for a smaller number of people. And we can stream different, uh, different sets of video in there. And um, not a problem. I can sit down here as well. And you can see you get a good view of the screen. Um, so that's this room. We, but of course, we could change this completely and take all the chairs out and everyone could stand up and have a discussion or we could put the chairs in a circle. Let's go and have a look at another room which we've got ready for a meeting. Okay, um, Leon. And Paul, of course, the one, the one commodity a business can't uh, purchase is time. And uh, that's yeah. one of the big advantages of the virtual conference is that it frees up travel time to, and turns it into a productive office time. Absolutely. This is a family-friendly way of doing conferencing. Um, as you can see here, um, this room is set up for a, for a more of a discussion and a board, boardroom conference, which is a, a really great way to, um, to use the facilities. And again, we could take all this out and completely chop and change it at a moment's notice. Yeah, this is a very flexible uh, environment uh, that you have here, Paul. That's right. Yes, it is. Um, okay, shall we, um, shall we go and look at the exhibition centre upstairs? Sure. The way we get around in Second Life often is using teleports, and if we come around here, um, you can come to the teleport menu, and you can see that there's different options there, and the first floor exhibition centre is what we're going to click on. Uh, we'll right-click and we do teleport, and that takes us upstairs, and as you can see, 
we have a large open space. This can be used again in any way, shape or form that the client so desires. Um, this is actually laid out for a, a big educational exhibition that's coming up and um, they'll have lots of stands in here. We might not use this layout, we might change it around because as you can see I could just take one of the, um, the exhibition stand faces and just move it slightly, to the, slightly across there to the right and then I've changed the layout of the floor and that's how, that's how easy it is for us to chop and change things. You could do product demos in here or anything really tied into the use of the conference or we can, set, we can rent this out as a space um, for just general use. So, uh, and you also uh, design and build the uh, stands or the booths for these exhibition uh, halls if a customer should need that as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, in fact, um, the last exhibition we were at, we built 50%, sorry, 10% of the stands in the exhibition. Um, we had organizations and companies queuing up and saying, can you please build us something because <laughs> we haven't got anything for this exhibition. And, you know, they need to look professional. We are actually a full um, Second Life build and scripting company. Um, but because unlike a lot of building scripting companies, we actually use the technology ourselves to do conferencing and to share that with other people, which gives the customer um, a really great advantage. Okay, Paul, just to quickly recap then uh, the advantages of uh, virtual conferencing over uh, actual meetings or even video conferencing. Uh, the, the virtual conference uh, saves a, can save a, a ton of money in uh, travel expenses and airline tickets, hotels, meals, uh, even fuel and maintenance for automobiles. And in addition, that time that uh, would be spent in traveling can be turned into uh, productive office time. Yes, absolutely. And, and you know, the great thing about conferencing in Second Life is it's actually fun. Um, <laughs> and a lot of conferencing, if you just travel for five hours, um, isn't fun. <laughs> and uh, you can't conference in your pyjamas if you have to travel to the meeting, but you can with Second Life. And the uh, level of interaction is uh, incredible. You have to experience it because even just now, uh, we're standing here together, but you're actually uh, located in the United Kingdom and I'm in uh, Florida, but we're interactive as though we're uh, in the same room and we can uh, literally exchange information, files. I can even uh, instantly uh, exchange money if we uh, so desire. Absolutely, and that's one of the the really great things about this is that uh, it just brings, it, it's almost like somebody said to me the other day, they said if you, if you invented the real life teleport system you'd be a, a, a multi-billionaire. Um, well in Second Life we kind of go part way to do that because we can actually work together as a team even if we've got people around the world. So I mean we actually uh, have builders in America and um, we've got people in Germany and we can all meet together within the, this environment. And uh, speaking of environment, uh, this is an environmentally friendly uh, way to, uh, to uh, do business because it, it cuts down on pollution and uh, the amount uh, by cutting down travel. And uh, it also saves paper in that the files can be uh, transferred electronically instead of having to print them or fax them or whatever. Yes, absolutely. That's right. Um, so not only is it family friendly, it's environmentally friendly. So with conferencing in this way is a, is a win-win situa situation for everybody. Um, and uh, it saves time, which you can't replace, and saves money. And it's also uh, a great fun way of doing things. And also the fact that you can show somebody something in a three-dimensional environment. So we can actually build you a model of a product. Um, so you can say this is our new Hoover for instance, let's say you're selling hoovers, and we could build you a model of the hoover so that people could actually look at what the thing's going to look like. Yes, I know it's being used quite a bit in, uh, in uh, building now with the actual uh, uh, developments. Well, Paul, I appreciate your time this morning, and, uh, and thank you for showing us the conference center and, uh, and all the advantages to virtual conferencing. That's no problem, Rick. Thanks a lot.